Good morning and welcome to day two of Infocom 2017. We're here on the NEC Display Solutions stand. Uh, today with the president and CEO of NEC Display yes. Solutions themselves, yeah. thank Todd you, Bauman. Adrian. Thanks for, well, we have to thank Todd for hosting us here. We're on stand 1600. Uh, you should come and find us. There's lots of great things happening today. Uh, if you watch some of the shows yesterday, you'll see that uh, the one thing that the stand has is more partners than I've ever seen at any trade show ever. Yes. 48, 49, 40, something? 49 partners. Uh, we, as we always have, I believe very strongly in our mm -hmm. partnerships and relationships, uh, we look at bringing not only the best technology mm. uh, from NEC right. uh, to the market, but also the best yeah. technology from but our But I think partners. more so than any other display manufacturer, or probably exhibitor, mm. 48, 49, Partners is amazing. You have these little tabs which we love, which you started last year, which yes. lists all the people involved in a little product. So you'll see a Chief, a One Lamb, right. a Intevi on a, yeah, yeah. On a stand, which is a great innovation. Whoever yeah. come up with it, they need an award. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it was not my idea. It wasn't your idea. Okay. No, no, but marketing I, then. Marketing came up with it, uh, but I do believe it's important, right? Because there are many that bring the technology, mm -hmm. the solution to market. Uh, and it's important to recognize those that we work with closely and yeah. are strategic with. Of course. And the New York Digital Signage Week, where you do the showcase every year, yes. you had 60 or more partners uh, last year yeah, as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So I think that really speaks, Adrian, to our our, our focus in the industry, uh, the partnerships, not only mm -hmm. from a channel perspective, right? We often, when we talk about partners, it's the pro AV integrators, it's yep. the, the resellers, right? Uh, but partners expand for us beyond just those, mm -hmm. but also into technology. Right. And we look at really combining uh, the core competencies of many companies together yep. to bring the right solution. We to also have the market. great creative stuff. We interviewed John Nine from Hollow Nine yes. yesterday. And again, anybody who's watching yes. the show needs to come to see the cave, the virtual area. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yes. Which could only have been put together by a mad creative genius. <laughs> it's true. It's true. John John is a, a great creative type. I, I love his his content. I love his creativity. I like his ideation. Mm -hmm. uh, the cave is, is very cool. While application may be limited, it certainly is an attention getter. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like about it, though, is it uh, gives the the, uh, the, let's say, the, the partner, the ability to think beyond just how displays may be used in a signage right. industry, what we're most familiar yeah. with, right? That we can really be creative with visualization and look at how it can be used differently. It's mm -hmm. very cool. And collaboration's the name of the game on the stand in terms of yes. um, solutions, as yeah. well as with your partners. Yes. Yeah, collaboration uh, continues to grow, right? It's been around for a long time, right? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's nothing new, but I think the, uh, the technology continues to be perfected uh, in the usability and true collaboration, right? We, right. I mean, in the early days, we called collaboration just the ability to, to write on a board or right. manipulate, right? Uh, collaboration now is really transcending boundaries, yep. uh, not only physical, but uh, digital as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really moving towards that yep. true collaborative work environment. And we asked a couple of people on the show yesterday about the collaboration stuff, and yeah. it actually caught them by surprise. The whole huddle space thing seemed to appear within six months, nine months, I don't know. It was yes. very, very quick. When, when we did this show at ISC, where we spoke to you again in yeah. Amsterdam on your stand, you know, huddle rooms, we had to do some research because it was completely new to us. Very new. Uh, in fact, we're looking at moving our headquarters in, in Chicago uh, and working through the, with the architect and designers and workplace planners, right? right. There's a whole psychology behind this. Uh, huddle rooms, surprisingly to us too, <laughs> uh, came up as the number one topic of conversation. We need to have huddle right. rooms, right? Uh, and there too, it became very apparent to us that, hey, we've got great technology right. that fits the space Brilliant. perfectly, okay. right? So it's a new office space sometime this year. Is that likely or definite? Uh, it is It is definite. Wow. Uh, we're working through the timeline, so we do not have a lease uh, yet signed, but it is uh, definite in, right. in the future. So you'll be uh, saying goodbye to Atasca? We will be saying goodbye oh. to Atasca. New new location, not yet disclosed. Okay, damn. Uh, yes, uh, but we will be staying in the in the immediate area. Chicago area. Yes, oh, that's absolutely. Good. That's good to know. We look forward to coming and seeing that. Uh, look forward to having you there. Now, you guys have been doing some great stuff with LED. I mean, uh, yeah. we've been showing that the interest in the Stuart film screen that's behind us, yes. is behind your, behind you, yes. behind me, yes. has been immense. But the yes. LED stuff that you've been doing is amazing. This. This is 2.5 mil LED behind us. Right. To use that as a broadcast backdrop is unbelievable. When we first saw it, we thought it was lower than 2.5. Yeah, 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 absolutely. The, it, you know, it's the, the, the resolution and the, just the, the beyond the resolution, the ability with a finer pixel pitch to do many things, right? We've got the finer pixel pitch mm -hmm. around the corner. Uh, it, it's just really a technology for us that has taken off in the application, the mm. usage, as we have yeah. here, uh, where maybe traditionally not thought as a broadcast uh, capability. No. 
uh, really we were able to perform and show that. It, and it you've did done fit. some. I know you can't talk about a lot of them, but yeah. you've done some really big installs in the big yes. cities in North America. Yes, absolutely. We've had some very big installations. Uh, some that are uh, uh, well, many more that are on the docket right. uh, as well with many yeah. big brands yeah. uh, being used in. I think what's uh, very interesting used in many different verticals, not just a retail environment yeah. that we yeah. often think of or a stadium, let's yeah. say. Uh, but used in a wide variety of verticals from transportation to broadcast as mm -hmm. we have here. And projection seems to be having a bit of a re resurgence, which is may have also caught many people by surprise, hasn't it? I mean, yes. projection's becoming amazing. It, it is, uh, you know, and certainly I think with the laser technology, it, it really has improved the brightness capabilities. Uh, equally important with that brightness, the application, the usage in different ambient condition mm. uh, have, have really brought the technology again to the forefront. But edge blending also mm -hmm. uh, has really been popular where even in broadcast, yep. we are now seeing large, large screens mm -hmm. uh, being run with three to four projectors uh, in an edge blending right. environment that looks absolutely stellar, yeah. amazing. Now we've only ever seen this from NEC partners, mm -hmm. but we we know of one NEC partner in North America and one in Europe that's using rib, uh, not rib, using projection yeah. for menu boards. Yes, and yes. doing some amazing things with it. Uh, uh, I mean, real creatively clever uh, stuff. Uh, absolutely, and again, I think the brightness, right, and the laser capability that mm. that allows that now brings it into mm. markets where maybe ambient light conditions were yep. an issue, that's no longer a problem. Okay. Now the other thing that we are uh, quite pleased with NEC about is the way you managed to bring all your execs to all the different events. So we met you last, right. uh, well probably at DSC, but we met you before then yep. in Amsterdam at ISS. Yes. Yes. And your executive teams from Europe are here. Yes. Uh, and you're, you have this great thing with you have this Joined, joined up marketing thinking, which is unheard right. of, I think, with a right. global Agreed. brand. Yeah, so your, your life is Infocom, yeah. some vertical shows, DSE, right. the London Showcase, where we saw, actually we saw your London Showcase yeah. in May. Yeah, yeah, um, yes. You know, during London Digital Signage Week, and then you have this event, and you've right. got a few more vertical shows, uh, and then you've got New York Digital Signage Week coming up. Yeah. So it's amazing that you can do that. Yeah, you know, and it's really been, I, I think, Adrian, uh, in the first interview, uh, maybe uh, a year and a half ago or so at, at ISC when I'd first joined the company, uh, one of the uh, three initiatives I had talked about was global, right? Yep. Solutions and easy yep. to do business with, but global, uh, definitely a burning platform. And I, I, I think you've seen now in, in two years how we've really progressed uh, yeah. in global, and not just global in supporting our customers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's very, very important, yeah. but global in the brand, yeah. right? That and we thinking, represent. strategy, yeah, Absolutely, everything. that we're consistent in what we represent. Yeah. Well, that, ha that started when you started, so that's uh, Thank off. you, so thank good. you. So Todd, uh, thanks for coming on our show. Absolutely, Adrian, thank you for having me.